We may consider visiting the library a peaceful experience, but for those on the autism spectrum, this simple task can be fraught with many challenges. According to Askell, more than 9 in 10 people with autism would use their library more if autism-friendly adjustments were made. This includes Winchester University student Rodri Mayer, who has Asperger's syndrome. If I can avoid going to the library, I will. Um, I find it's often easier just to see what I can get from the internet. Um, if I need to get a book, I'll go in, I'll check it out, and I'll go back home and I'll do it. Because um, I find often going to the library is more trouble than it's worth for me and many other autistic people. Implementations have been made in libraries across Southampton to provide a welcoming experience for those with autism. What we, what we looked at doing is putting our staff through some training that was available um, from the national bodies um, and just raising awareness because I think we are aware that, as I say, people coming in and use our libraries and we are possibly more tolerant of children when they come in who might sort of act in a different way, what well, determine a different way, or who are a little bit loud, who don't or who don't sort of adhere to the normal sort of conventions then. Dimensions, a charity for learning disabilities and autism, told Winnell, our research found that people with autism are more likely to visit a library, but 40% still never do. We can ignore these figures and develop training and resources for libraries to become more autism friendly. We're now working hard to encourage libraries to make the adjustments and welcome guests with sensory sensitivities. With the changes made in Southampton, it is possible that more Hampshire libraries will follow suit to become more autism friendly. Paige Lampard, Winchester News Online.